this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today we're taking a look at the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 46 Green Dialed Special Edition. Now first I'd like to remind you that we're here in, at uh, Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota, taking a look at this watch. They're an authorized retailer of Breitling and many other premium watch brands. So I'll be leaving a link in the description to their website, um, so definitely check that out if you're interested in purchasing this piece or another piece from Breitling. So now let's move on to this watch. So as I said, this is the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage 2 46 Chronograph Green Dialed Special Edition. Now, obviously this watch is special because it has this beautiful green dial. Now this is slightly different than the green dial on the Premier Chronograph. Um, not in its overall uh, finishing, it's got that same nice fine grain on it um, in a sunburst pattern with then a glossy finish over it. It looks very nice, uh, but just the shade of green is a little bit lighter, and I actually really like um, how it looks, especially because I think green and then the gold on the Breitling logo looks, uh, that's just an exquisite combination. It's actually kind of reminiscent of the typical Rolex colors where you have the gold crown and, and uh, green background. So um, getting into the functionality of this watch, it's got, the, it's got an ETA 7750 base movement, um, and this, which brings it uh, to a power reserve of 42 hours, and that's a little bit low, especially that it's a chronograph, but frankly it's automatic, uh, so it shouldn't be that much of an issue, and this really is a daily wear piece. I see these all the time, um, particularly around either the sea or lakes, just because it's really a dive watch, and it has the water resistance to um, call itself a dive watch at 200 meters or 660 feet. That's kind of the minimum dive watch water resistance, so you could definitely use this for diving, and also I think that the chronograph feature would ra be rather useful for diving, although um, I have heard you're not supposed to push the chronograph pushers when you're underwater. I don't know um, if this watch has any compensation mechanisms for that. I know some Omega Seamasters do, but um, that's definitely something you'd want to research before diving with this watch. It also has a very nice bezel. Um, it has excellent lockup, near perfect. Um, it's got a very kind of harsh click, which some people may like. It's not as silky as a Rolex Submariner, but um, it's it's fairly similar to a Planet Ocean uh, with regards to how it feels. It's 120 clicks. So, um, oh, one additional thing about the bezel. This is a ceramic bezel insert, so it will be very scratch resistant. Although, again, chip, it's not going to be as chip resistant. Okay, I've never actually heard of anyone chipping the bezel on their dive watch that's cer ceramic, and I, I talk to a lot of people in the watch community, I, ser I have seriously never heard of this happening. I have heard of the ceramic cased Omega Seamasters chipping, which is, as you can imagine, a total disaster, but I, again, I don't think that's really a major issue. I've never actually met someone where that's happened, I've just been to stores where they say they know someone, but um, again. I think that, that, again, chipping will not be that big of an issue. Um, it, it really, I don't think it will be an issue for anyone. But moving on to the overall uh, construction of the bracelet. So it's got the standard shark mesh bracelet. It's extremely thick, very tough, would be very useful for diving. But as you can see, it has these removable links here so you could size it properly. It also has the standard Breitling um, kind of pressed metal clasp. It's very high quality, it feels very nice. Um, it's not the typical Seiko pressed metal clasp. It's very thick and very robust. So now I'll try this watch on for a wrist shot, and that's why I'm not wearing a glove on my left hand. I always get comments about why I don't wear two gloves, but um, it's, it's for the ease of the transition to the wrist shot. So as you can see, the 46 millimeter case looks quite large. I have about a 6.5 inch wrist in circumference, so just for comparison purposes, uh, that's average to slightly above average. Um, and I think that, again, if you had a really small wrist, this watch might look a little bit ridiculous, but actually the bracelet is very thick as well, and that makes um, the case seem a little bit smaller, so you could probably get away with having a slightly smaller wrist with this watch than you would be able to with other 46 millimeter watches, but again, um, if you have a really small wrist, this probably isn't the one for you, and there's many other Breitlings uh, at many other sizes that might be more suitable. So if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and share. And also remember we're at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota. Thank you.